Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator Ravi Gupta. Today we are going to talk about resilient choke. In my earlier video of choke, I have explained what is chokes and what are different type of choke. In part two, I have explained the choke fast and the cast iron choke. So please watch these two video to get a clear idea, and then please watch this video as all the video will be correlated. Now. Let's begin the video of the resilient choke. As I have told you that the choke fast and the cast iron chokes is installed in the two stroke engine. In four stroke engine, we are using resilient chokes. Okay, so what are the resilient chokes and what why it is used not used in the two stroke engine? These two questions is asked in MU class 4 and class 2. Let's see. First, let's see the diagram. This is the resilient choke, okay, which has been fitted in the foundation of the four stroke gen engine basically in generator so what we are using resilient chokes are provided at the foundation of the engine of a four stroke to prevent the transmission of vibration to the hull of the ship means during the power development of a four stroke vibration is induced and this vibration doesn't require to be transferred to the hull of the ship to prevent that this resilient chokes are fitted on the foundation of the engine and the second question come to in our mind that why it is not used in a two stroke engine so resilient chokes are not used in a two stroke engine because it will be unable to transmit the thrust as you know that this resilient chokes is made up of rubber and moreover it, it is just acting as a method of absorbing the vibration and preventing it transmission to the hull. It will be unable to cope up with the thrust which has been developed during the two stroke engine. Okay, as the weight of the two stroke engine is heavier than the four stroke, resilient choke will be unable to bear it. Not only it will be able to transmit the thrust, the weight of the four stroke will be very much which will be unable to be beared by this resilient choke as it is made up of rubber it will get compressed and it will get tear up to prevent that we are not using this resilient chokes we are using epoxy resin chokes or cast iron chokes okay now let's see in my next slide why the precaution we need to take during the resilient mounting and what how we are going to monitor the resilient choke so let's see what are the precaution we are going to take for the resilient choke so as we know that the resilient choke is made up of rubber it should not get contaminated with the oil such as fuel and lube oil why because it will soften up here as you can see this is the resilient choke which has been softened up because of the contamination with the fuel oil or lube oil because the rubber is susceptible to the damage because of the lube oil contamination okay now let's see in this diagram you can see these are the resilient chokes which have been provided in the foundation of the engine this is for the resilient chokes of the Daihatsu auxiliary generator set and this is the rubber packing which is provided on top of the resilient choke now all apart from that flexible chokes and end stop on the propulsion generator is also fitted now let's see as the resilient choke mounting is flexible in nature means as you know it is flexible in nature why because this thing is gonna move flexible in nature for that reason the engine connection must be flexible means all the pipe work including the exhaust trunking must be connected by a flexible pipe work to absorb the engine movement allowed by the flexible mounting and to be allowed for the thermal expansion so what basically we are telling we will observe that the engine auxiliary generator sets which are provided with resilient chokes have a fitting of a bellow exhaust bellow okay inlet bellow the bellow is provided not only to accommodate the thermal expansion but also it accommodate the engine movement because of this flexible mounting one more thing i want to tell you that during the period of time we also need to check the clearance of this auxiliary generator set in uh, Hyundai Himson generator the clearance is measured and between this we are inserting a filler gauge and the clearance is measured and it is, should be around a 0.5 
mm to 1 mm so that to ensure that the clearance is all around the region choke is same and if it is not then we need to make sure it is same for ensuring a suitable platform for absorbing the vibration. I hope you have understand why the resilient chokes are fitted in four stroke and not fitted in two stroke and uh, why we how it is installed and how it is transmitting the force. Okay. Friend, please do like and subscribe my video. Please share. Image goes to mindrezal.co.uk. Thank you.